This tutorial is about audio. Now, back in PowerDirector, I can't even remember. I think it was PowerDirector 16, 17. I'd made a video about how you alter your audio by grabbing that line and moving it up and down, and you can change the audio within your PowerDirector. Well, PowerDirector 19 has some really cool options to really allow you to do more with the audio. So, for example, I'll start there. I'll put my playhead there. And you'll notice there's a triangle here. And how I got here, you're originally here, where you load your media from. And then I went down to here where I'm in the audio mixing room of PyroDirector 19. So there's a triangle, which is a keyframe. I'm going to add one there. And you'll notice I put a little dot there. I'm going to move it down, and I'm going to add another one. Now, this really allows me, and when it turns red, that means I'm on it. You see that red dot? I can really move this audio down now, so I can have the audio coming down. And then the audio come down and then go up. And if I was at a keyframe before and before, I could really just do that one section, right? Now, at the same time, say I want my audio to kind of go off in the distance, like it's the end of the video, I want it to start coming down. I believe this is in all your power directors. This here says fade, and it says fade in and fade out. So we would be doing a fade out, which I click that, and you'll notice it added the dots here. Now, this ain't going to sound right because this dot goes down, but this starts climbing, so it means it's going to start raising the volume. So really... I would want to bring that up a little bit, and then I would run and grab this keyframe and bring it down. I could even maybe bring that one in the middle up a little bit more. So now, as it talks, I've got a microphone here, okay? And you'll see how it's nice yeah, and loud. It's, it's doing really what bad. it's supposed to do. But as it gets yeah, to this dot here, it should start to come down. We'll plug in the bottom here. So now I could attach this lapel to my shirt and be feeding my audio in this here and feeding my audio into my camera. So I can run that type of microphone. This plug on the See back. it came down a little bit, but really not all that much. But if I wanted to Let's pull that down a little bit more. Slide it over. And then I can get it fading out. Okay. And, and that is a little bit lower. Let me grab this one. Pull this one down. And I'll pull this one down a little bit more. You see how that's lower? So depending on where you put these little dots, which are called keyframes, and you grab them when you see that red dot, determines what you're doing with your audio. Now this is PowerDirector 19. They did upgrade some things in here, which is kind of cool. And it gives people a little bit more power with playing with their audio in PowerDirector 19. And I think this is really cool. I love the meters. I love how they've added all this in here. So it's really cool. But you can get pretty fancy now. If you make a mistake, let's say I don't like that. It just didn't turn out the way I wanted. Okay, make sure it's blue so you get this menu going across here and click this and then you can go down to restore original volume and boom, everything's gone. So you only got a keyframe at the, at the end and one at the beginning. That's it. So now you can readjust however you want. So remember, you can add keyframes to your audio. You can click these triangles to fade up, fade down, then go back and grab your keyframes and move them up and down. You can add keyframes by clicking that diamond in the middle. So you have a little bit of control here on what you can actually do with your audio. And this comes in handy if you want to fade out music at the end, or this triangle if you want to make the music slowly get louder and louder, like a horror show, you know, dun 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 dun, dun like Jaws was. Um... So there's a little bit more information about audio. In this particular video here, I actually explain a lot about the task cam. If you guys want, I got a couple of videos of how 
different microphones sound different, um, lower end microphones with the test cam and how audio makes a big difference. And I did this on a very cheap camera, which is a uh, 80D is what I did. If you want, I can upload this video. If you guys want to see this too, let me know in the comment section and I'll, I'll send it up so you guys can check it out. But um, I spent a lot of time with audio. I mean, I, I got some pretty expensive uh, audio devices here that I like to spend time with because a lot of times I'll record nature and different things like that and that does cost money. But this is how you really edit your audio in PowerDirector 19. Drop some keyframes, you're off to go. I don't want to keep repeating myself. I'll catch you guys on the next one.